everybody, welcome. I'm your host, Tamsin Fidel. Well, we can't wait for the return of live musical theater, that's for sure, but there are plenty of awesome ways to get your fix right now on television. I am the X-Men meets The Voice. I'm sorry, what? Shows like Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, the second season, now underway on NBC. If you somehow haven't seen it yet, it's a musical dramedy about a software designer who discovers she can hear people's innermost thoughts through song. It's so nice to have you back. Oh, okay, let's everybody just calm down. It's a really cool concept with some really amazing talent, including Tony Award nominee and TV and movie star, Peter Gallagher. Broadway.com's editor-in-chief Paul Wontorek is here with more. Hi, Paul. Thanks, Tamsin. A lot of fans might actually be surprised to see Peter Gallagher showing back up in season two. His character, Zoe's father, passed away in the season one finale, but he's living on in Zoe's heart and mind this season. Psst. Over here. I want to talk to you for a minute. I'm right here, kid. We had the chance to chat about the show, his love of Broadway, and his Tony-nominated daughter, rising Broadway star Katherine Gallagher. I found your work on, uh, continue to find your work on Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist very beautiful too. I, I lost uh, my godmother to ALS to see that this, the character uh, not be able to speak, and, and you're still in season two, and obviously there's amazing Broadway talents uh, involved in that, and yes. it's sort of like a, a fantastic modern day musical. It's good to have as many Broadway vets in the cast as we have. Only, only somebody who's done a, a musical for a long run really understands what it's, how much right. it hurts. <laughs> Raise your glasses, people, to the newlyweds, Grace and Nick. Surprise. Is Nick gonna be back on uh, Grace and Frankie? Oh I yeah, love. oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I mean, we were, I was just talking to Jane the other day. We're, we're hopefully coming back in June to finish up the seventh. They're gonna, it's gonna be end the end of the seventh season. I've shot a couple already for the seventh season and I have a couple okay. more to do. They, they haven't killed Nick yet. You have a very talented daughter. Tony nominee. Catherine Gallagher, how about that? That was exciting. I'm so happy for her. That was such a big day. And she, I think she uh, eclipsed you in terms of the, her age when she got her Tony nomination, right? Oh, I'm, she's eclipsed me in every single way. <laughs> All I know is that when Catherine was three or four, yeah, she saw Annie. She would dress as Annie every day of the week. She would insist on going to school in the dead of winter with her little Mary Janes and her little ankle socks and her red dress. And so for quite a while, she was Annie. And she did a bunch of other shows. And then a few years out in high school, she did, uh, with Ben Platt, she did City of Angels. Well, she's like a bombshell. And then she went off to become, you know, to, to she started playing rock and roll clubs when she was 15 and writing songs yeah. and selling songs and. Ooh, ask if I like you do. But yes, I couldn't be more, I couldn't be happier for her. This is such a broad question, but what is special about Broadway to you? Well, there's just nothing like live. When things work in theater, for a moment, nobody, even us, nobody feels alone. For a moment, we are all members of the same family. But I'm also very interested in what's next and what's new. You know, I'm very excited for the shows that Catherine will get to do and, uh, yeah. and I'll get to watch. 